Is this a cheaper alternative to Elgato's Key Light Mini? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Fish Tank. My name is Squidhead Joe, and this is the Vivitar Creator Series Studio Light Pocket. Weird name, I know. Not too long ago, I've done a video on their other studio light, or at least what they claim to be a studio light, and I'll leave a link in the description to that video review, because that's a mess in and of itself. With that being said, let's talk about this light today. Now, unboxing this light is nothing too extraordinary. You get some quick start guides, as well as the light itself, a USB Type-C charging cable to recharge the battery that's built into the light, as well as a cold shoe mount adapter to be able to mount this on top of your camera. Now, moving on to the features of this product, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery life, as well as a horizontal and vertical thread to mount it on a tripod or mount it to that cold shoe adapter. It also comes with RGB cool white and warm white LEDs on the front and on the back comes with the LCD display and navigation buttons to be able to access all the features of this light. Now the build quality of this light is actually made out of aluminum and it's actually quite hefty, but they say it's lightweight and durable. But if you're going to mount this on the top of your camera with the Koshu mount and you're gonna try to vlog or something with it, just keep in mind if your camera is already kind of heavy, this thing is gonna add a little bit more weight to it. I just wanted y'all to keep that in mind. It's not magnetic as um, far as I can tell, like the Key Light Mini that Elgato released recently, but pretty much everything that the Key Light Mini does, this does. What are some pros and cons of this light? I'm gonna actually mix this section together. Usually I separate it, but I feel like this needs to be put together because for every pro, there's an immediate con. For instance, the overall build quality of this light. Now. It's made out of aluminum and it has a rechargeable battery in it. And the, for 40 to $50, the overall build quality is actually pretty good. But the immediate con comes in is when they say it's lightweight, but it actually has some heft to it. Um, and if you're gonna cold shoe mount this on top of your camera and you plan on vlogging, you already know when you're holding your hand up all day vlogging and stuff like that, you get arm fatigue. So you're gonna want, and if you need a light because of poor lighting, you're gonna want something that's lightweight, that's not gonna add too much weight to the camera. And I feel like if you already have a decent sized camera, or maybe you have a lens on it or something like that and you're trying to vlog, you're just gonna add this weight on top of that and it's, your arms are gonna experience arm fatigue uh, fairly quickly. So again, if you're looking for a light like that and it's gonna be primarily used for vlogging, I would try to find something that's a little bit more lighter weight than this light in particular. But if you're just gonna have it sitting like how I have my camera sitting now on a tripod, then this might do it depending on your lighting situation. And again, you can don't have to attach this to your camera. It has the horizontal and uh, the vertical mounts to be able to sit on a tripod. Now, another pro, um, again, it's 40 to $50, but with that being said, you can find, like I said, lighter weight versions of this light for the same price, if not cheaper, and maybe even get a pack of two or something like that with the same functionalities as this. It happens to be in that budget option to where it's kind of like the other studio light where I talked about it's a flood lamp and you can probably find a pack of two or four flood lamps depending on Amazon for the same price. And that might be the same thing might be said for this, um, but again, you got the accessibility of it being there in Walmart rather than ordering on Amazon. Depending on where you live, you might have to wait if you don't have Amazon Prime. But again, it, that, that's gonna be entirely, I feel like, specific to the person um, needs and wants. Another pro slash con is yes, you get the LCD screen in the back. Um, it's very vibrant. You can see very well um, all the inputs as far as the running through the menus and the functions and the usability of it or wherever, it's simple to understand and, and, and everything and adjust to everything. But the con comes in, the, the screen is prone to scratches. You probably can't even see it on camera, but there's already several scratches on the back of the LCD screen. And I haven't really done that. Like I wasn't rough with it. I would probably get like a little small screen protector or something like that 
if um, if that is a uh, worry for you, but I definitely, definitely would be careful handling this thing um, and trying not to scratch up that LCD screen. Um, but again, it's bright. You can see what you're doing. You can tell with the menu buttons and stuff like that, but how much durability does this screen have over time using this product? It's, it's just kind of weird. Another pro slash con is, yes, it has a rechargeable battery, but like I said in the unboxing portion is that that USB Type-C cable is super short. I'm glad that it's a USB Type-C though, but it's super short. So if I'm trying to put this on my desk, just a regular height and trying to plug that cable into the wall to recharge this thing, it's not long enough. And if you're trying to put this on a tripod or even put this on your camera, and maybe charge and use it, it's, it's not long enough. And then on top of that, even if you were saying, well, just charge it up fully and then use it on top of your camera and tripod and stuff like that, again, for what table? Even this side table right here, if I was to push it against the wall, would barely have enough length for the USB-C cord to plug into this thing and plug into the wall. It's way too short in my personal opinion. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Another pro slash con of this light is the fact that it comes with a Koshu mount adapter. Now, I've already talked about the weight of this light, kind of probably not gelling with the fact that your camera might already weigh a significant amount if you're vlogging. But if you're also vlogging and you don't have anywhere to put down your camera, meaning you probably don't have a mini tripod to put this on next to your camera, because if you put this on top of your coat shoe and you only have one slot on the, of a coat shoe on your camera, then where are you gonna put your shotgun mic or external mic or wherever that's already mounted on your camera? Then if your mic again is already mounted on your camera, where are you gonna put this light? And not all the time where you're vlogging do you have the capability of sitting there and sitting down somewhere and having a mini tripod for this and a mini tripod for your camera. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people like to have it all in one from for ease of use. And again, depending on the use case scenario, you might have to end up getting a mini tripod. So I would have liked in the box either a mini tripod with that coaching amount adapter because there was enough room in the box to have just one that just sits on the table. You know what I'm saying? Just a cheap one sit on the table. I would have seen like to see some effort for that or coming with a Koshu mount adapter that has uh, room for this light to sit on, but also has something that branches out that allows your mic to sit on. Um, I would have liked to see something like that in here, or like I said, a most likely a actual small mini tripod that this light could have sat on. Um, so that way it doesn't take up space on your camera and leaves room for that option of a shotgun mic. Another pro slash con of this light I would say is depends on your lighting situation if you're going to use the RGB. Maybe you want, uh, maybe you have like a key light like I do on my left and then you want purple light to shine on your face or something like that. You could use this thing, it takes up less space, maybe you can hide it out of frame or something like that. But in all honesty, if you're sitting at home doing something like this, I would say just get a flood lamp. Yeah, or if you're out vlogging and stuff like that, yeah, but most of the time you're probably gonna already be outside. And if you're at night, you're probably gonna already, unless you have two of these things, you're probably already just gonna use it for the white light instead of the RGB, because again, you're in poor light situation. So I'm not really sure where you would use this RGB scenario, because even at home, I would use like these light bulbs that I got, or um, a LED strip or a flood lamp or something like that, instead of actually using the RGB on this. Now the effects are cool, coming in with 12 different effects is cool. But again, the use case scenario for these effects or the RGB, I just, I really don't see where anybody would use them. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comments below how you think that you would use RGB on something like this. Um, Cause every instance that I could think of, even like in a cube storage shelf or something like that, you could probably find one that, you know, you don't have to recharge all the time and that might be a little bit cheaper and you might be able to get like a pack of them, like a pack of four flood lamps and just put them, you know, by storage shelves or something like that, or maybe a cheaper LED strip to light up the storage shelf. Because other than that, and especially it not being magnetic to put it in interesting areas to maybe justify the RGB, 
I mean, I'm glad the function is there and I'm glad it's like 40 to $50 and it's gonna be cheaper than the Elgato Keylight Mini. But other than using the actual white light that comes with it, I don't see the point of having RGB. The bottom line is, should you get this over the Elgato Mini Key Light? And I would say yes. If you were going to use this as a actual key light, then you would be able for this price, get two of them for the price of one Elgato Key Light. And again, if you're not using it for the Elgato ecosystem or you want app control and you want physical control and that's all you care about, again, get two of these for the price of one Elgato Mini and you can use this at your you know, streaming setup or whatever because it's bright enough to be just a straight up key light. And um, I think it would be worth the purchase and worth the pickup um, to get something like this. Now, overall, I'll give it a three out of five, me personally, um, just because, again, I wouldn't really have the functionality for the RGB. So I would have liked a cheaper option that didn't have any RGB, as well as um, just the USB type C cable being so short. And on top of that, only coming with a Koshu mount adapter and not really thinking that people who use cameras to vlog or something like that and trying to advertise this as lightweight, like all those cons or whatever, just kind of knocks it down for me. But again, I think a solid three out of five is a, is a good place for this light. Um, if you're interested in picking this up, I'll leave a link down below. But again, you probably could find this just at your local Walmart. Um, with that being said, if you are interested to see like the brightness and stuff like that and how it looks, if you are planning to vlog or sit down and talk and just use this thing, I will be doing a YouTube studio tour of my living room because it's finally finished to a point to where I feel comfortable showing you guys in a vlogger style video. And if you missed my first setup video of my actual office space, um, of my corner of the office space, I will leave a link in the description as well so you can check that out. But the YouTube tour of the living room should be up fairly soon. Uh, I just got some things to finish up and film it and edit it. With that being said, this has been a review of the Vivitar Creative Series Studio Light Pocket. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you're interested in any other products that I have reviewed, there will be a playlist on your screen right now. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have any questions on any of the products I reviewed, then you can check a link in the description to my Twitch channel where I live stream during the weekday. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces.